as a sustainable source for energy. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Team Brown, for having me here. I think uh, this is a very, very tendential subject for a person who's coming from oil and gas sphere because when I think I Shivankar spoke to me, I thought he's talking about something to do with AI in the natural gas space. But when he said, no, it's a different context altogether, so it's natural gas in the AI space. <laughs> so, but I mean, let me demystify. You said that we must demystify the complete subject. Yeah. So far, oil and, oil and gas colleagues are here. So, just give you a landscape. I mean, maybe I'm something wrong on the numbers, but. The broadly, till about 2018, till about 2019, the growth in the data center was about 60% or percent at CAGI level, and expected would be around 16-20% going forward. And in terms of, uh, if you look at in the India story, uh, broadly, the kind of data center we have about 150 or so currently operating in the country, vis-a-vis about 6,000 odd in the US and about 4 500 odd in UK. So, I mean. The data explosion which the entire industry is looking at, and, the, and each one of us, you, you name any corporate today, I'm sure their strategic framework talks about AI is a critical piece. It's a Beijing Heising today strategic framework for any organization. So therefore, I'm 100 percent sure that very confident that the AI use cases are expanding at a faster pace than ever. If that be the case, the computing power required and therefore the power required, the energy requirement is going to be multifold going forward. Broadly, the numbers which you talk about, I think it is the first question about 800 megawatt, that's the kind of number which exists today, and it's expected to be about 1800 or 2000 megawatt by 28 or 29. So that's a broad number we're talking about. Uh, and what it costs today to build a data center, just I want to set the context, it's about four to five million US dollar per megawatt, that's the kind of numbers we're talking about. That means a 25 megawatt uh, kind of data center needs about 800 crores. Out of that, 50% goes for the capex towards the electrical equipment or facilities. When I come to OPEX of it, again, the math is the same, 50% of cost goes to the power. Now, if that be the case, and that being a critical business continuity uh, aspect of this, so therefore, uninterrupted power availability has to be ensured. And therefore, when, when I think Richard was talking about, Mr. Koko was talking about, why is it that all these data centers are hovering around Chennai, Mumbai, or you know, big seven cities? So about 90% of the data center today exists in seven cities of the country. So because the grid connectivity is essential, and that's how it has to be ensured. Now, I think the gas can play a bigger role in making sure that the power is made available 24 by 7, it's reliable and more so it is sustainable. I mean today if, if let's let's say an example, if I'm running a data model or AI intelligence in oil and gas company, in my refinery for the example, towards my aspiration to go as a net zero by 2040, I can't be deploying some ecosystem which is actually running on a coal power. I mean that, that's that's something very odd, right? So therefore I think I going forward Corporates are going to look at this is additional data point that if I am using A, B, or C kind of uh, uh, ecosystem, is this power sustainable? Is it always available? And I think when the data center is connected to grid, fine, I think multiple powers can play a role. But I see a future when this entire ecosystem explodes. I think the off grid kind of system will emerge, will have to be emerged to make this entire industry sustainable and scalable. And therefore, I think at that point in time, combination of renewables, gas, and the energy storage would play a critical role to ensure that consumer, the customer, eventually gets seamless power connectivity for their digital solutions. 